over five years, I've only played in one Minecraft world. But today, we begin a new journey in a fresh 1.18 hardcore world. Oh boy, I'm scared. Yeah, I don't make new worlds often, so this is a big deal to me. It's kind of like if you're married, then you get divorced, now you're back on your first date again. So not used to this, and here we go! What the? Alright, interesting start. There's a village on the side of a cliff. But I will take this seed. Guys, I've been searching all morning trying to find like a good seed. I kept spawning in snow biomes or jungles. But finally, some nice mountainous area. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so excited to try a new world from scratch. I do still plan on keeping my old world, but I just wanted to start fresh 1.18 and just experience Minecraft again from the beginning. Oh, hey, okay, perfect. Easy food source. But I am also notorious for dying in hardcore, so if I can survive in the first couple of days, I'll feel confident. But until then, I'm on edge. <laughs> Hello, villagers, what we got for me? Oh, a chest? Bread, perfect. I'll take the bed as well, I'll even take the chest. Anything in here? Another chest? Okay, good start for the food department. I want to get up there, but how do I even get up? Let's make some tools first, just so we don't get carried away. I'm like so confused what to do right now. Again, I'm not used to the start of Minecraft. Just do a little parkour action. Barely no risk here. Oh, hello chicken. Already wasting food getting up here. If it's just empty houses, I'm gonna be upset. Well, hello. What an interesting little spot this is. Golem, bells, a couple of cats. All right, house, we have nothing, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's more. When does it end? Oh, emeralds, hello. Oh, big cave. Oh wow, what a start. Oh, and you, I forgot, you're deadly now. Okay, let's post up for one second and go mine all these materials because this is a really good start. Because my biggest fear for this world world right now is going into caves where there's creepers like you just saw. But if I can get all this stuff just here exposed, it makes my life a lot easier. Can I mine these with a stone pickaxe? I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> okay, the total haul is not bad. But now I want to get up to that blacksmith house because that looks like there's going to be loot in there. All right, what do we have? Little house over here. Nothing in it. Careful. <laughs> I'll take a grindstone. I'll take some furnaces. And now for the chest. Please, please, please. Good stuff, good stuff. Good. Iron pickaxe. Oh, and pants. Oh, that's a really, really good start. No, that's like really good. I have some protection now. I have a good pick to go mine those emeralds. What a wonderful start to this world. I'm already loving it. Oh, the sun is setting. All right, day one's coming to a close. Just got to avoid being dumb and sleep when I need to sleep. All right, is it time? It's time. And just like that, we survived day one. Well, the hardest part's over, right? <laughs> Why are there two skeletons there and a zombie? Where'd you come from? Well, I'm going achievement hunting. Give me that monster hunter. Give me. Yeah. Stop. 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 And I will take you guys. Thank you very much. Well, for now, I'm going to post up in this villager's house and I'm going to get some iron armor rocking because I have enough iron for it. Smack down a furnace, smelt this bad boy up. And as I wait, I'll make some more food. And also, I'm taking his bed because I hate the pea color bed. Looks ugly. Okay, give me this. Let's make a chest plate. Boots, helmet, put that all on my body. And I also want to make a shield because I think I can do that, right? Where is the shield? Do I need more wood, maybe? Yes, shield. Now I feel safe and secure, this bad boy. But that being said, I am taking my stuff and I'm going on the move because I don't want to build in a village. This is their land. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to steal their swag. So we're going down the mountain and looking for a new place to live. On that note, thank you, Mountain Village. I appreciate your kind sacrifices. We'll take some of you. Thank you very much. This could not be a more perfect start right now. Also, pumpkins. Never know when you're gonna need them. Oh, guys, I will be honest. As someone who's had a world for so long and I quit it, I was really nervous to start this. And honestly, I had a lot of doubts that I wasn't gonna enjoy it, but so far, I'm really liking it. Like, I'm having a ton of fun right now. Imagine I just die now. I see more mountainous area over here. All I know is I really want to build in the new terrain because it'd be kind of lame to go build like a normal house in like a flat area. But these mountains, baby, these are new. Is that another village? Why are all the villagers stealing my swag? I wanted to build by myself, but I don't know. This mountain's kind of cool. Is that like a jungle up there? No, that's just a forest. Oh, nether portal? Okay, this could be a nice area. I see some sheep for food maybe. Oh, gotta sleep. Don't die. Don't die. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are there so many villages? just in this world. But look at this beautiful meadow here. I love this spot right here. We have all this nice view. We got nether portal. We got two villages. We got a giant ocean down there. This is the spot. I love this. Well, might as well go investigate the neighbors. Hello, neighbor. I just moved in. What do you sell? Arrows. Don't need that yet, but thank you. Terrible trade. You guys got an iron golem. They have 
two churches. Very religious group, huh? Maybe I gotta go. Okay, enough fooling around. Let's get to making our starter house. And I feel like right here is just the best spot. We already kind of covered this, but I'm just trying to, you know, really decide. And I think this is the number one area. So we terraform. Okay, looks good. But now I am thinking about what I want to build here. And this whole meadow scene just screams like cozy cabin. So yeah, I'm thinking like a small but practical little house for myself. Probably mostly like oak wood, right? So on that note, I need a better axe. And I'm gonna go chop some trees over there. Genuine question. Am I playing hardcore right? I just made an iron axe to go make a cool house before I even like looked for diamonds. I don't know. I'm just gonna do me. I have no clue how much I'm gonna actually need. So let's just go for like a few stacks maybe. Okay, that should suffice. But I kind of want to get another kind of wood. Because ideally you want to have two kinds of wood. Like one for the base of the house, one for the roof. So if I could find like some spruce wood or even like some dark oak maybe. All right, I'm gonna go on a little mini adventure. See if I can find some spruce wood. And if I can't, I'll just wing the house. <laughs> I know some of you guys are saying use birch. You deserve to not play Minecraft. Birchwood, disgusting. Horrid. Oh, there is no spruce around me. All right, fine, I'll use what I have. So let's put a little log there and put some cobble across the bottom and then bring it back up this way. So I'm kind of going for like a cobblestone base to the house and the rest of it's gonna be like oak wood. So kind of imagine this has like foundation. I don't know if that makes sense, hopefully it does. And I'll have my doorway be like right here. And I think the walls are gonna be oak logs. I kind of want to like strip these and like that actually looks kind of nice. I'm gonna do it. Let's do that. Walls are looking mighty fine. Now I'm hoping these windows don't look too plain because it's a lot of oak wood. Again, I really wanted to use spruce so I could have like some accents, like some darker colors here, but I'm not gonna, you know, complain. It's literally the first day. Yes, donkey, I know. The house is awful. Don't eat the bed. What are you doing? Crazy donkey. But I'm gonna keep working. I'll be back when this thing is mostly finished. All right, about one hour later, here's what we got. And of course, I want to give credit, I was heavily inspired by a YouTuber named Shara Nam. I love this style of house. It fits in so perfectly with the area, so shout out to Shara. But that being said, I'm so proud of the roof. I did like my own kind of spin on it where I did like logs and some stripped wood and some stairs. Because normally, as I said earlier, I'd want spruce up there, but since I couldn't, I got creative and I love it. And side note, I've already broken an iron axe building this, so that's nice. But obviously the outside isn't too polished yet. I can only do so much on you know, like the first couple of days of Minecraft, but the inside is ready for moving. So let me take my bed, put that bad boy right here. Do I want a window here? Now nah, I got a window up there, that's fine. Oh, also this door, I have a door here because I want to make a little bit of like either a garden or a farm out here on the side of the house. So I'm thinking if I make like some fences, oh, hold on, side note again, campfire, that sounds awesome. A little ambiance up here wouldn't hurt anyone. And of course some logs to sit on too. I feel like I'm doing hardcore so incorrect. Who cares about surviving? Make little build details. That's the point of hardcore, right? <laughs> and a little texturing. Oh yeah, I like that. But back over here, if I do like a little bit of like a fence area, make it look all pretty with like a little bit of a barrier and kind of like weave it around the area. Yeah, look at this. This is awesome. I could put like some animals in here. Maybe... I don't know, should I do like a crop farm or actual animals? I'm leaning towards real animals, but I don't know. Wait, who stopped me from just making another farm over here? Well, that wouldn't really fit too well. And now I sleep. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna make a little cramped garden right here, like a really small one. Oh, the worst part about moving house is needing to move the chests. This is gonna be a tight squeeze though. I know it's a starter house and I'll probably be fine, but like at the same time, this is smaller than my average house. I guess for now I can make a few like shelves here and there to put things on. I do wish these were spruce though, because I don't like how they're like see-through, but it's fine. It's a starter house far as he chill out. And now I'm going to use my last two pieces of iron to make shears for decorations. At this point, I'm just embracing my psychopathness. Um, you're not serious, right? You're not serious, right? I just started this world, dude. Well, that's partially scary, but aside from them, the house is looking nice. Went to a nearby village, stole some stuff, and now the house looks a lot more decorative and amazing. But, uh, we have a problem. I don't want them attacking my neighbors, but I don't want to kill them, because then I'll get the banner thingy effect. Oh, also, look at my chimney. Isn't that cool? All right, well, I'm just going to let you guys chill. Hopefully you despawn. Hello, rabbit. Now I'm going to go raid that nether portal. But intruders aside, the house looks wonderful. I'm actually really, really proud of it for, like, again, this early of a house. What do we got in here? Here. Ooh, shovel. Uh, okay, I'll take those. And some obby for a later date. Thank you. Guy's still there. 
just chilling. Well, this is probably a good sign to go mining and get away from here, so maybe they'll leave me alone. So uh, let's go get some torches and put our stuff back and go find some caves. So this part, in theory, should be the fun part. You know, finding all the new caves and whatnot, but I also don't want to die. And I already found a cave that was fast with five creepers in it. Yes. Okay, ooh, emerald tillo. Take some more of you for a future trading occasion. There are so many emeralds in this game now. Did they like up the rates? I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Boom. Okay, iron, I need you, but there's also a billion mobs around me. Wait, didn't I make an iron sword before? Now I have a stone sword. What happened to my sword? I don't even know. I swear I made one. <laughs> Getting a little nervous here, but I'm finding good stuff. It's these skeletons. Like the zombies, they're fine. I can avoid them. The skeletons, they got range. They're annoying. Here's a hack. Friendly fire. Go, attack him. Yeah. Now I can mine in peace. Oh, did I get a bow from that guy? Yes. Oh, 11 shots. But still, four arrows. I'll use that to my advantage if I'm in trouble. Oh. No bow needed there, but that was trouble. Oh my god. Is it just me? Are creepers like less OP than they used to be? I feel like they used to be way more damaging. But I'm not gonna complain, I'll tell you that much. I am finding a lot of copper, and I think they up the copper rates, right? Still to this day, all I want, Mojang, all I want is copper tools or copper armor. Okay, out of that cave, I have about a stack of iron, which is pretty good. But I want to find more caves because I really would love to get diamonds today. Look at that pretty house over there. Whose house is that? That's my house. Yeah, I'm kind of conceited, whatever. I think I see a dripstone cave in there and I know those caves are usually massive so this could be a really good sign for us what are we working with here oh it's not a water oh, I hate the water caves wait unless non water is it a mine <gasps> mine shaft okay this journey just got a lot riskier but we're going for it be careful be careful be careful <laughs> carefully submerge oh no 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 don't shoot me oh skeletons everywhere nope 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 please 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 Please, please. Oh, it goes so low. It goes so low. I'm in so much trouble. Go. Oh, 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 God. Just, just, just build. Give me a second. Let me eat some bread. We're doing okay. We're doing quite all right. But oh my, that looks like a huge cave. I want to go check out the mine shaft first, though. I don't want to get lost down there. You know, that's smart. Let's not be too risky here. It's the idea of not being dumb and dying right away. Like, look at all this copper. Why is there so much copper in Minecraft now? Okay, this was surprisingly empty. Any more down here? Was that literally it? What a terrible mine shaft. Okay, I'm gonna stop for one second and go make a new iron pick because mine broke. And if I find diamonds, wanna be able to actually mine it. Just need one of you, not one of you. I meant the tree. Now I'm gonna head back down. If I find the diamonds, I can then stop and make a crafting bench and all that fun stuff after. Oh, geode, I think. Oh yeah, look at that, that's sick. Oh, mobs are coming. Get down, get to some safety. Is there any safety here? Oh, oh no, 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 we're not starting this here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yes, you're fighting, thank goodness. Okay, I gotta make my stuff now. Get some of this iron in here. All right, fresh pickaxe, that's needed. I'm gonna make a fresh sword. All right, back out we go. I'm back to being nervous again. Some redstone, don't know why I need you right now, but I'll take it. <gasps> Diamonds, you guys see that? That's the look of an amazing thing. Very descriptive, Farzy. And here we go. Our first diamonds of the new world. We got one. We got two. Dang it. I wanted one for a pickaxe. But I'll take diamonds. I, I can't complain over diamonds regardless of the amount. This is why these new caves are so amazing because I can just like find ores in the walls. I don't have to go like strip mine or, you know, just like randomly dig into caves. Everything's here. Uh, well, I'm going to take a couple of crystals just because I can and I could maybe possibly make a spyglass now. We got some good loot. Now I just want to get back home and continue on our journey. And we are back, baby. Uh... Where's my house? Over there? Hopefully. <laughs> I probably gotta write down my coordinates soon. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I see you. I could never lose you. Just like, look how amazing that looks up there on the mountain. Like, that is just so um, amazing. I said the word twice. Now, here's the big question. Are the pillagers gone? I think they're gone. Yep. They had their little campfire, roasted their marshmallows, and then left. They robbed me. Are we good? Now we're good. Okay, well, let's get our iron cooking up back home. Now I can make a bucket. Or a diamond hoe, maybe? No, no, no. We got a new bucket. It'd be a funny meme, but not today. And we're gonna go grab some water and start making our first farm. Now, again, I could be dumb here because I don't make new worlds often, but in my mind, I get water, I make crops, I use the crops to get animals and breed animals. Right? That sounds right, I think. I don't like how weird this ocean looks. See how it's all like broken? 
Oh, it's a cave. That's why it's all broken. I'll check out that later, but we have water. Oh, and by the way, the other village is up here, which I didn't actually look at yet. Hello, other neighbors. Oh, they got an iron golem too, so they're a big family. What do you got for loot? Nothing, but I'll take your blast furnace. You got a nice farm here for me to steal for. I mean, I mean, look at... Okay, this is a pretty small village actually. So I'm gonna assume these guys are the poor village. Up there is the rich village and my house is like the middle. Oh, give me all this too, please. Cause who needs a farm when you can steal? Well, borrow, I'll give them back their wheat. Okay, so as previously talked about, we are gonna make the farm over here. So I'll take my bucket, just put some water here in the middle and I'll make a hoe. Diamond hoe, I want you so bad. I'll make a stone hoe, till some of the dirt. I hear a heart, oh, hello. Any trades for me? Nothing I really want, but I have emerald, so come back another day. I really could use those leads. Oh no, he despawned. Get our wheat seeds down and our first farm is complete. It's horribly ugly, but it'll do the trick. And now with these new leads from our despawned brother, we can go get some animals. So chicken, donkey, kind of want some cows. You know what? I'll just take them all. I'm sure eventually I'll need like a bigger farm, but for just day one, I keep saying day one, run like day 10. But for our first episode, a simple little starter house farm is fine. Can you get to this door? I don't think you can. Let's go this way, sneak on in here, Mr. Sheeps, and close the gate. Okay, we have our first, oh, whoops, no escaping. There you go. We have our first pets. Well, they're not pets, they're gonna be livestock. But I'll feed them well, there you go. Make your first little lamb chop, I mean, lamb. There we go, you heard nothing. And what a little coincidence, two cows by the portal. You've won a trip to a free spa, and by spa I mean murder house. <laughs> how did you, how, how did you get out? Oh, uh, oh my God, you little parkour masters. All right, gotta do some adjustments here. Come on, get on in. Oh my God, he just walked right over to get in. <laughs> okay, well, I think we are all set with the animals now. I will have to make this bigger though. This is like incredibly small. Plus they're gonna make so much noise and annoy me like all hours of the day. But again, episode one, I'll deal with that later. And for the final thing I'm gonna do today is I started smelting some copper so I can actually make a spyglass. Boom, spyglass done. Also a fishing rod would be nice to have. Go get some food, but uh, yeah, now we can look. No, not like that. Now we can look far in the distance and actually see things because Optifine isn't out yet for me. This is amazing. Guys, that's gonna be it for me for episode one. I really hope you enjoyed this. Again. I'm not the kind of guy to make new worlds often. This is like a really big deal to me. So I really hope you liked it. If you do have any feedback, let me know down below. I'd really appreciate it. So on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.